Hey yo, wavy, where you at, nigga? Yes, sir. Welcome to my house, to all my channel subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back in and if you are joining us here for the very first time, welcome, welcome. Please make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so that you can officially be a part of our fam. Welcome back to another video with me, your fave. <laughs> you asked for it, so here it is. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through all of my skincare, my body care, some of my hair care, a little bit of feminine hygiene tips, you know. We're doing a feel good, look good session, okay, so step into my office. And it's going to it. Um, I do not apologize for the background noise. There it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of that. Birds, dogs, because you guys are propped up by the window and also like I'm in the bathroom. So when the air call, you need but it's all right because this bathroom has the better lighting and it has more space. Energy is just, yeah, it's nicer. So yeah, let's start with face care just because i haven't actually washed my face yet um yeah so let's just get so firstly i just want to say that my um winter skincare and my like summer skincare i guess it's pretty much the same there's just like a few discrepancies but i've realized that changing dramatic things like cleanser and stuff is just like yeah it's just dramatic <laughs> it's dramatic and it fucks with my ph and it's just not a good idea so it's better to like add things in terms of like serums and blah, 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 blah. but i will talk you guys through it so you know what i mean right so firstly let's do skincare like i said um i think important things to note about skincare because i feel like a lot of people come to me asking for suggestions you know and i'm not actually a qualified anything so the suggestions that I put out about skincare are just things that I've observed and have worked for me. Um, and I think when you're looking for products to help with whatever your skincare concerns are, it's important to understand skincare um, ingredients and like know what you're looking for, not just buy whatever your favorite person is using. Do you know what I mean? So in terms of that, I'm hoping to give you guys a bit of a an idea of what to look for to help with whatever your specific skin concerns are so for me my skin is normal combination right i have like an oily t-zone but everywhere else is like pretty dry um my skincare concerns are hyperpigmentation and also like my skincare concerns are hyperpigmentation and just like dryness around here you know because i like a, a, a supple moist dewy looking skin like that's the vibe that i'm always trying to go for so a big thing for me when i'm purchasing skincare is hydration 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 i also do believe that hydration like well hydrated skin solves a lot of skincare problems you know dryness even some acne um and stuff like that so the first step of my skincare is cleanser um these are the cleansers that I use. This is the one that I used to use. And then um, this is the one that I'm using now. I hope that you guys can see it. So I'm, what do I need to do this, this hand thing? Anyway, um, the foaming cleanser is for normal to oily skin, which is basically my skincare type, right? It's great, but I just found that it wasn't helping with the texture of my skin, which is another skincare concern I have. I want to have skin like a baby's bum, ne? smooth, no bumps, no nothing, I want it to be. So this is why I then opted for the smoothing cleanser. This one says dry and rough, bumpy skin. So this one has really helped to make my skin a lot smoother. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, that's the vibe. So I use this, just one pump, nothing tense, and these things last for a long time. So yeah, I use them interchangeably, but that's, that's only just because... I still have some of this left and I'm gonna finish it because my name <laughs> the work, um, thing that I really believe in to help with skin texture and also hyperpigmentation is exfoliation so this is the scrub that I use um, it's the vitamin C scrub from 
Garnier. Today is not a scrub day, so I'm not actually going to do it. But yeah, this is really good, you know. The vitamin C and lemon, um, those are both key ingredients to help with radiance and hyperpigmentation. So yeah, and also exfoliation is important it's just to, you know, remove dead skin cells and let the new ones come to light. So it helps with texturization and it helps with hyperpigmentation. You should be exfoliating, I think, two to three times a week. Whether you use a physical scrub like this or you're using a chemical scrub, you know, AHAs, BHAs, you can do, like, Google that stuff. <laughs> I do this scrub maybe, like, twice a week or at least once a week, you know. Um, yeah, and I found that it's really helped with my texture and also with just the general inconsistent colouring that I have on my face. Um, yeah, another thing, when you are doing the skincare, don't forget your neck, okay? You don't want your face to end up looking like a mask because your neck is now three shades darker than your face. The skin on your neck and like here, yeah, decolletage, is almost the same thinness, you know? So it needs the same amount of care, the same amount of sunscreen, gel, all of that. So carry your skincare down to your neck, please, I beg. Please. Next step on my skincare routine is toner. Um, this is the toner that I use, as you can see. <laughs> this is the toner K Yarns, Eclo Toner. Um, yeah, you know, she might be a joke, but she'll never tell you a lie. She slept when she recommended this. This is um, an exfoliating toner. K says resurfacing toner, right? And basically, it stimulates the skin to naturally exfoliate. All of the thingies that it has, lactic acid, lemon, orange extract, niacinamide, help to do that, right? So it's really, really good and it's gentle enough for you to use every day. It's not as harsh as the scrub or um, a chemical exfoliant. So the way that I use toner is I just put a couple drops into my hand and then I pat it into my skin. Toner is basically just to help... Um, like open up your pores so that your your skin can accept the the moisturizing product that you're about to put on. Like balance your the pH of your skin and stuff like that, um, and also help to regain some of the moisture that you might have lost when you were washing your face with your cleanser or whatever. But in the very same breath, if you're using a cleanser where your skin feels very dry after using it, it's probably not the right cleanser for you because that shouldn't happen because that means it's stripping you completely of moisture and that's not okay. Um, yeah, so this toner is very hard to find because Nya Papa and Nya Tela not. So the other toner that I use when I can't find this one is the refreshing toner from the African Extracts range. This is the toner that I used to use before I discovered the Glow Toner. It's also very good. Um, this helps to tighten your pores and it has tea tree extract which is good for dark marks. Then the next step is eye cream. Um, I recently added an eye cream to my skincare. Um, this is Nature's Nourishment. Nature's Nourishment is the like the Discam skincare brand, right? Um, when I read the package, it sounded good. You know what I mean? Like the ingredients seemed familiar, and it said anti aging. So I was like, yeah, Roy Boss anti aging. I know those things work. So. I'm just trying it out. I haven't been using it for long, so I don't know if it's doing anything yet to actually help combat um, the dark circles that I have under my eyes. Like, I was just trying to get rid of the puffiness and the Gucci bags. Um, yeah, so with the eye cream, I just rub it in with the face roller. I got this face roller from Sheen. I'm sure it was like 20 rand or something. Um, and I just store it in my freezer and I take it out like at the beginning of my shower because it's not good to put it on your face straight out from the freezer because you get like freezer burn it needs to be cold but like a room temperature cold i don't know if that makes sense but yeah and then the next step which is very important um for me now that it's winter because my skin does get drier during winter seasons is serums so these are the serums that i have um i have niacinamide they're all from standard beauty by the way I have hyaluronic acid um, and your son, squalane, squalene, squa, squa something though. So um, the niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid, I interchange them um, like when I use them in the morning, like at the step. 
and then the squalane I use at night. This one is very hydrating, so much so that if I'm using this, then I will not put a night cream because then it just becomes too heavy for my skin. Um, the niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid, I use them like maybe two to three times a week. It's not every day, it's just once in a while. Niacinamide helps to improve skin texture and reduce inflammation. Hyaluronic acid helps with extreme moisture and gives a plumping effect. So today, let's do a little bit of niacinamide. Um, yeah, so it's just a couple of drops, you know, nothing too hectic, and then just rubbing it on to your skin. Then the next step is moisturizer. So this is the moisturizer that I use. It is the Johnson's & Johnson's Even Complexion Day Cream with SPF 15 for all skin types. This, again, targets my hyperpigmentation. Um, so yeah, it's also very, very cheap. Um, I also use a night cream from the same range, but I couldn't find it the last time I went to go buy night cream. So I have been substituting by using the Squalane as a night cream and I just need to go to this cream again, like this week or something and find it. Um, after moisturizer, I'm going with sunscreen. So I have three sunscreens. Right. Firstly, this is the Dermapal Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is a sunscreen that I like to use during winter because it's a moisturizing sunscreen. You could even skip your moisturizing step and just go straight into the sunscreen. I like using it in winter because um, it's more more moisturizing, basically. It helps better with the hydration and like keeping plump and, you know. Whereas in summer, I find that it makes me sweat a lot. This one is SPF 30 and it helps with anti-aging and anti-pigmentation. It's also the most affordable out of all three. Um, you can do the two-step finger thing. That's the, the easiest way to measure how much sunscreen you should put on. But I've just gotten to a point where I can tell by squirting it onto my hand. So yeah. And all of these sunscreens are really nice because they have no white cast. So they are very suitable for brown skin gals. And don't forget your neck. And then the other two sunscreens are from Eucerin. Firstly is this Sensitive Protect Sun Cream. Um, and then I have the Dry Touch Sun Gel Cream, right? So this one is suitable for oily, acne prone skin. Um, so obviously if your skin is more on the oilier side, then you can use this one. It's great, like it's dry touch, it doesn't make your skin like sticky or anything like that, it's really good. And then this is my favorite one, and this is the one that I like to use during summer, the sun cream, um, yeah, it's good for sensitive skin. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't leave a white cast, no residue, it also dries up really well. Um, and yeah, it has SPF 50, which is great. The higher the SPF, the better, okay? That's what you sort of good with shame. Very high experience. But to get, I have visa, so yeah, I have visa, that's what I can say. <laughs> and the final step for my skincare routine is the hydrating mist. Um, it's from Woolworths, the W Beauty range. Uh yeah, I'm just a hydrating mist type of girl. You know, a nice little spritz. Just because, like I said earlier, I really believe in hydration solving a lot of skincare problems and I really, really love having the dewy, plump looking skin. So that helps to just lock in all the goodness and it gives that extra... Okay, the final, final, final step, Vaseline. <laughs> Pour them out, okay? And then we are done. Have a look at that. Is it not giving glazed donuts think <laughs> hair done let us move into hair care okay with my hair if i'm being very honest a lot of it is good genes and i say this because i don't take the best care of my hair um like after i did my big chop it's been i think about like seven eight months now it's grown back really fast for someone who basically change their hairstyle every two weeks you know and doesn't really have like a set hair care routine when i was growing my afro in the beginning like i had a routine you know i was serious i was doing luck methods i was doing protein treatments i was in my bag but just like this time around i just don't care i don't care for it i don't have as much time 
I just want my afro to grow so I can relax it. Like I'm not trying to be a natural hair girly. Been there, done that, got the t-shirts, it's enough. So yeah, that's why I'm saying it's definitely a lot to do with jeans because my hairline is pretty healthy, you know? Like my edges always grow back and that's probably the only thing that I really focus on is my edges because I really have quite a forehead. I can't afford gay, you know, like a like wash up on your god. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, um for washing I use the cream of nature pure honey range, which you can get from clicks or discam. I use the shampoo and the conditioner. I wash my hair I think at least once a month, it depends on my hair. My hair is 90% of the time it's in braids, it's in cornrows under a wig, so it doesn't get washed that often. Like you wash my hair, you know. Um, yeah, but every time I wash my hair, at least once a month, like I said, I will then do a protein treatment or like a deep treatment or just something treatments in it. This is the one that I have on hand. Um, this is the Originals Hair Mayonnaise Deep Conditioner. It helps to treat and repair dry or damaged hair, right? So this is like one of those mayonnaises put into your hair, which Bob Blastig marinates and then you wash your hair. So I do that every time that I unbraid and I change my hair. On the regular schmegula, like the upkeep while it is in braids or in cornrows like this, I like to oil my scalp. Um, I definitely think that these oils are the biggest contributing factor to why my hair is healthy and why my hairline always bounces back, okay? So firstly, it is the <coughs> Jamaican Mango and Lime Black Castor Oil. My hairline is strong because of this oil. Saved my life. This and MPL oil, which I've run out of. The MPL oil, the one that's written coconut on it, sensational. The only thing about MPL is I hate the packaging because why is the oil not in Ishan Seganje? Mandrea Telia Kita is just, it's annoying. But the oil really works. And then this is the new one that I got. I've heard amazing things about it. Um, this is Masodi All in One Hair Oil. This is only at Clicks. You will not find it at this camp. Now we're going to move on to body care and teeth and stuff so okay on the next segment let us start with my body care um so yeah it's, it's, a, it's a couple of things <laughs> my mom always says that like i'm a product addict like i just have too much stuff and i feel like she's being dramatic it's not that many things it's just a couple of variations of the same thing you know um yeah so firstly the soap that i use like to bath um is it's either dove like the white cream bar i don't know if i have any here just for you know um show or it's this sunlight bar now can i have to strictly this one i don't like the how the other ones smell like when i don't know how to get on yeah I'm and also my skin is really sensitive so i don't really like heavily fragrant soaps because they, they stress my girl out, you know? Um, yeah, so with regards to like my body, it's almost the same type of issues. I just, I have very textured strawberry skin as it's called like here on my chest and around my neck. And I know that that's because I spray perfume directly onto my skin. Unfortunately, I won't stop. I won't stop. <laughs> I will not stop spraying perfume onto my skin. If anything, I'm just consistently, constantly, looking for ways to make it less noticeable it's not that noticeable honestly it's just because in the eyes, I mean, like i can see it you know this part of my chest is not the same texture as here you know or like my thighs or my legs which i don't like but it's like i'm willing to sacrifice it's not that deep you don't know you only know now because i told you ne? um yeah so with that being said the body products that i use okay so after you know soap so clear like a face cloth. Very important the step. Guys, I don't believe in using body wash to bath only. More because I'm going to body wash a pillar or gaze in and you can't tell me anything else. Like all of this stuff that's in here, for me, it's just to layer like scent onto my body. It's to help with the longevity of my perfume lasting on my skin. And it's yeah, that's all. But to gaze, the cracks of a gaze. If face cloth, please, I beg. <laughs> 
Okay, so then after that, then we can do body washes, all right? So these are the body washes that I use. I do not use body wash every single day. Um, I probably use it again like two to three times a week because like I said, for me, it's a layering step. It's a luxury. It's just, it's me feeling myself. It's me being in the mood. It's me self case I day, but it's not like a, a crucial step in get my one. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, these are the body washes that I use. Um, firstly, the Dove one. Okay, love the way that this smells. I love the texture. I love how smooth it makes my skin feel afterwards. Um, it basically says that this is like glowing ritual body wash, and it apparently helps to, excuse me, even not hyperpigmentation and you know make your skin glow. So love her such a babe and then the second one is the sorbet firming body wash so this one it probably smells the best out of all three um the pink one is pomegranate flavor it smells amazing um but i don't like the texture of this one just because if i were to open it like this right now it would literally fall out it has no self-control the texture is very watery and i don't like that it definitely has a nice leather but you have to use quite a bit to get the soap going, you know? So I feel like, yeah, mosh, yeah, mosh, yeah, mosh. I will say that all of them work. Like, I believe it's, it's doing what it claims to do because, yeah, I'm going to none. Enjoy my niche. <laughs> and then the last one, last but not least, in fact, this is my favorite one. This is the Nivea Coconut and Jojoba Oil. Um, this smells... It smells good, but it also kind of smells like shampoo. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of goes head and shoulders sometimes, but it's very nice, like heavy there by smooth and soft skin. You literally step out and you're shaky. And then um, the other things that I use are body scrubs. I love a good body scrub. I believe that you should be exfoliating your body as often as you exfoliate your face. So that's why I'm in the body scrub thing. Again, exfoliation helps to remove dead skin cells, you know, let those new ones come to the surface and also help to even out your skin tone, right? So yeah, I definitely do believe that they work um, or that it's working because somebody complimented me recently and was like, your skin is great, you're the same color all around. And I was like, yes, that, that is the goal. That is the best thing that you've ever said to me. Thank you so much, my sister. <laughs> so these are the scrubs that I use. Again, I have three just because I like the rotation. I don't like doing the same thing all the time. So that's the only reason why I have three. So the first two are from Sobe. This is the firming body scrub and this is the rejuvenating body scrub. So these two are very um, like soft in consistency. It's more of like a gel. I don't know if you can see from there. It's more of like a gel like consistency right they smell great by the way like sensational um you can get these from clicks also vape products you can get them from clicks or from like an actual survey shop right so when i use these ones just because i feel like they're very soft i like to use them with an exfoliating glove just for that extra you know exfoliation feeling i want to feel like i'm actually getting scrubbed and then the other scrub the last scrub that i use is from woolies Woolies has a great skincare rate, okay? Do not sleep on words. Everything from words is great. Ne? Food, skincare, clothes, J, all words have got it in the bag. So this is the mandarin and basil body scrub from the botanicals range at Woolworths, right? So this one is very rough. Like it's giving heavy brown sugar vibes. You know, it's a very physical scrub. So I don't use it with the exfoliating glove. I just put some into my hands and just rub it all over my body. This one is really, really great for hyperpigmentation. Um, like inner dark thighs. I found that this has really helped to like lighten them a bit. So yeah. On the last product in like my shower routine part of my body care is this Nivea um, shower oil. Uh, this I've added to my routine just because it is winter. It really helps lock in the moisture. It's like, it's basically the same thing as baby oil. It's a glorified 
baby oil. I'm not even gonna lie to you. If you had baby oil, it would work in the same like consistency, same vibe, you know? It's like you put a couple drops into your face cloth or your loofah, then you make it to equal body wash, Mr. I guess. Um, yeah, it has vitamin E and C and like other oils. It says thoroughly cleanses, but like, please don't bath with this only. Yana's planning, I'm gonna guess, and use this as a layering on top. Please, I beg. Yo, it doesn't really smell great. Like, as someone who prefers fruity, tooty scents and stuff like that, this smells like oil. Like, it smells like a monster, so that's all. But it's not a bad smell. But it's not, it doesn't smell as good as like my body washes and stuff, you know what I mean? But it's been really great in terms of moisturizing and just making my skin nice and supple against these harsh weather conditions. So, get into it. Then we get into moisturizing, right? So, these are the lotions that I use. Um, firstly, tissue oil, right? This is a magnolia one, which you can buy from Pep. Mac Bromley Magnolia tissue oil. I use this, like, in between my thighs, you know, my cooch, under my bump cheeks, just to help lighten those areas so they're not as dark. And also, because um, my thighs rub together, this helps to, what's the word? Diminish. Diminish? Mnipisa. Like, mnipisa the chafing and just the rubbing together. The reason your thighs are dark is because they're rubbing together. It's the chafing, it's the friction, that's what's going on. So having a layer of moisture to stop that, if you're not going to be wearing tights, is very helpful to like stop it from getting darker. And also, I just find thighs rubbing together to be very uncomfortable. So yeah, this helps a lot with that feeling that... <coughs> mm -hmm. And then the moisturizer that I use is also heavenly. This is my favorite one. Um, I interchange them, like in terms of smell and stuff like that. But this is definitely a consistent favorite uh, because I love the way it smells. Like it is such a great moisturizer to layer on top of. Because like after this, we move into perfumes and stuff, and it's just a great base for my layering. So yeah, love, love, love this flavor. But I'm strictly an also heavenly girl when it comes to moisture, to moisture, when it comes to moisturizers. Like I've tried Nivea and stuff like that, but I find them to be very thick. Now she actually said, like I, I sweat easily, so I need time to eat up, but it's a thick cocoon. Um, and this one transitions very well through winter and summer, so yeah. And then in winter, just as like an extra, because it is cold and my skin does get a bit drier, I also like to use the Coco Palmer's, what's it called? The body oil, right? Also amazing for layering, you know? If I could, even in summer, I would probably also use this because I find that my perfume lasts a lot longer um, in winter because I am so oiled up and stuff. Whereas in summer, this shit makes me sweat so bad. <laughs> like, I cannot deal. I will step out the house and I'm saying my day. He also have to be like my time, so cannot. But during winter, it's really great. You can also add it into your bath water or you can use it as a shower oil. Um, it's amazing to lock in moisture and stuff. I couldn't get the big size because again, so this is why I have a small travel size one. Um, yeah. And then the last like part of body care is underarms, okay? So like shaving, right? That falls under body care. So these are the rings that I use. The big pink lady. Okay, I only shave my arms and my armpits and my legs um, just because the hair on there is very straight, you know, it's not prone to ingrowns. Whereas on my lady bits, it needs a wax because the hair is very curly, it's prone to ingrowns, it's not cute when you shave. So I get a wax um, like monthly with, I'll tag her down below. She's the best, like the best waxing lady at the most affordable prices. I love Sandy. Like, if you don't know Sandy, get to know Sandy, okay? Like, fresh like sponge, okay? <laughs> There's nothing like a fresh wax. It's obviously awkward the first time because, I mean, it's the strange Indian lady in your match. But uh, you get used to it. And she's also very friendly. She doesn't make it awkward. She talks a lot. It's not a nice feeling, the ripping. But because she talks so much, I feel like I'm usually so deep in conversation and, like, explaining something to her that I get barely get time to notice what she's actually doing 
you know she's very quick with it 10 minutes in and out fresh like sponge trust me your homegirl will thank you okay get into waxing if you've been thinking about it this is your sign to do it now immediately so i read a hollywood wax um and a hollywood wax is like basically everything including the bum hole so yeah and it lasts quite a while like once you start doing it regularly it'll get to a point where you can go like a month and a half without having to wax because your hair follicles just like just doesn't grow anymore so yeah it's definitely a worthwhile thing to look into especially if you're like me and you are prone to ingrowns so yeah anyway and then this is the roll-on that i use the dove one strictly the original because my pets are very sensitive like <laughs> so this one has been treating me really well um it also doesn't leave any white marks on my clothes so love moving on to the next segment which is teeth okay so for teeth um these are the toothpastes that i use not somebody mowing the lower designer see now it needs to be done so i use the optic white from colgate obviously for the wiping effects but my dentist recently prescribed me to use this one just because my gums were bleeding and stuff. This one tastes like ass. Okay, it tastes like ass. It tastes like when you follow by cup direct, which is why I like to also use this one. But obviously for health reasons, I have to be with this one just because my gums are fucking around right now. But this one also says whitening on it. So I'm hoping that it'll just do the same thing as this. And yeah. I'm only using this one just because it's our corner and Iabiza, so I need to finish it and then I will fully commit to the one that my dentist has prescribed me. And then also for your teeth, very important to floss. Um, I do have the floss layer, like the normal one, the rolly rolly one, but I generally prefer this one a lot more, like the one with the pinks and the one that looks like this. Um, Floss, floss often, floss every day, even if it's once a day, it's very good for you, trust and believe, you need to be flossing, okay, please, pretty girls floss. Moving on to the very, very last segment of this feel good, look good series, um, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit on the feminine hygiene, we're going to touch a bit there, and then we can... Last but not least, feminine hygiene, salam. So, you know, these are my tips and tricks to keep your homegirl happy. You know what I mean? Um, first and foremost, water. Water, water, water. Because the pH, I don't know about you all, but like my pH is very sensitive. Like it takes one thing to throw that homegirl off and once it's off, yeast infection. And if you know what that is, it's not a good time, it's not comfortable, it's not nice. So I do everything I can to prevent it, to keep my pH balanced, etc. Okay. And water just helps to clear out a lot of things. Because if your pee is the same color as Oras, that's not a good that's not a good thing. So I'm a man. Okay? Anyway, firstly, um I don't have it here because they're finished, I need to restock. But in terms of like wash products, I do use like a a feminine hygiene wash it's yo it's like it's like a natural wash i'll look for a picture on google so i can like attach it here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but it's like an all natural products type of thing i don't use it every day because i definitely believe in like the vagina being self-cleaning and stuff like that i only use it when i'm on my period because i like the extra level of freshness that it makes me feel because like that's an icky time you know so you're trying to be as fresh and as dry as possible yeah and then also um I like having coochie wipes that you can also get in that feminine hygiene section when you're looking for the wash. I'll also attach a picture from Google of the ones that I like to use. Um, I like to keep those in my bag, especially during the time of the month, because again, I like the extra feel of the freshness and I just like wiping down with those puppies. So yeah, and then in terms of like tampons and pads, I'm 100% a tampon girly through and through. I will advocate for that. If you're still using pads, you need to grow up and you need to grow old and up. <laughs> it's the truth and it's the way. So this is the one that I like to use. Um, the ones from the legs. I use the mini ones. They have different sizes, so depending on your flow, that's the one you would get. My flow is not that heavy anymore, just because of the pills that I take. Shout out to my granny for that. 
And then when I do use a pad, which is like usually at nights, because like at nights I like to have a tampon and also have a pad because sometimes your flow may be heavier than you expect and then you wake up and like your tampon is leaking. So it's better if it leaks into a pad instead of leaking onto your bed, do you know what I mean? Whereas during the day, I'm a lot more aware of it because I'm awake. So I don't wear a pad, I just do a tampon and like a panty liner. So these are the pads that I use, they're from the breast. Um, I like the packaging, the whole, it looks like this. And like the old pad that you have, you can put it in here and like roll it up and sort of like restick the sides. It just makes for a nice throwaway package. If you use them, then you know what I'm talking about. It's like throw, roll, and go, something like that. But these are nice. What else? I think we're done. Oh my god, I think we're done. Woo! So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, my little look good, feel good series, you know. If you feel good, you look good. And if you look good, you feel good. So these are all my little tips and tricks on how I achieve the feel good look good and um, yeah I hope that it helped you guys and that you gained some more knowledge and that you're able to figure out your own skincare aka okay, feminine hygiene routine and stuff. Um, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe. For now it's me your girl signing out until next time bye fam.